graduated the MSc from India and having one year experience in food industry. Fantastic. Now, what is better to do PG diploma or MS again from New Zealand? And what is PR scope for food technologist in New Zealand? Food technologist, absolutely. We, we are again falling short of, like I was just talking about Jibin's uh, engineering thing. You know, food technologist is another thing that we guys are absolutely dying to get here in this country. And every student of ours who has come and done a course in food technology has found jobs, has gone on to get residency and stuff like that. So definitely the problem it appears with us is that your IELTS is not matching up to be able to get into a PG diploma level eight or into a master's level line. Because my team tells me that you only have six overall with one band, which is 5.5. Uh, now, as you're aware, you know, New Zealand is a very quality conscious country and they will not change their rules for one student with us. And for you to be able to get into a level uh, eight program or a level nine program, which is a postgraduate diploma or a master's. And I'm reading this out from the uh, NZQI website, which is the New Zealand Qualifications Authority. You need to have an academic score of 6.5 with no band score lower than six. And that's it. Once they have set that particular rule, that's what it is. They will not uh, compromise on that. None of the no, no. In fact, the institutions simply cannot compromise on it because they are governed by the laws of New, uh, New Zealand Qualifications Authority. And if at any time in future NZQA does an audit and they come to know that, oh, they actually admitted a guy into level eight or level nine, but he did not have that 6.5 with all bands and six, they can technically shut down that particular institution. So no institution will take a risk like that for one particular student uh, because their only option would be to go in for uh, writing your IELTS again or PTE and prepare. You know, all it takes is a, you know, like like today I said, I talk uh, uh, fluently about New Zealand education and migration, but I was always not like this. Practice eventually made me into this, you know, kind of uh, person who can sit and talk, you know, very uh, fluently about this particular topic. So likewise, apply yourself, right? Spend a couple of weeks and tell yourself, hey, look, I'm going to get off the bloody Facebook and I'm going to, sit and you know learn my english and crack this them so we need people with that determination as well because you're going to come into a battle going abroad is not an easy task guys and girls don't think oh it's going to be a bed of roses that's what we are trying to do we know it is going to be a bloody battle and that's why we are lending so much support onshore here in new zealand because we've been through it i'm a migrant myself mary is a migrant virginia is a migrant nicholas we know the kind of trouble we go through and that's why we're trying to provide that support but you guys also need to get into this with a lot of determination. So don't try to uh, compromise on your English because, because you will simply not be able to get into level eight or nine. If you're looking at a level seven, we could probably look at something. But again, level seven means you only get a two years post study work. And there may not be any courses in food technology in level seven. So that could be another problem. So my sincere suggestion to you, because my friend is please try and apply for your um, uh, uh, IELTS or PT again. I'm certain you'll crack it with us. Okay, go for it with determination and you'll crack the damn thing.